If you've ever tried to take a picture of one of your paintings, you realize probably that it feels like it should be so easy and it just never is. There's always some kind of weird glare or the canvas's texture shows up more than you wanted it to. But there's a pretty easy and creative way to get past that. I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so here's what a polarizing filter looks like. This is a circular polarizing filter. You can get this for about 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, and this would go on your camera. Now, if you don't have a nice like DSLR camera, you can get one of these filters and just use it on your phone and that'll work too. And here is a polarizing sheet. This is also about $10 on Amazon. Um, and what this does, and I don't really need to explain why this works, you'll just know that it does. And I'll link some articles in the, in, in the description of this video that explain this whole cross polarization technique. But just to show you something cool, when you put up this filter here and then put in the circular filter in front of it, you'll see that as I twist it around, sometimes it's translucent and other times it gets totally blacked out. And in that case, that's kind of what we're gonna be using. I'll show you that here in a second with the lights and everything. Setup is that you're gonna put your polarizing filter onto your camera lens or over the camera that you're using. And then I've got a light here. I'm just using one singular powerful light source. This is the Godox SL60 watts, which are basically just a gigantic LED. And what we'll be doing is placing this filter over that light. And we've got the filter on the camera there. And then of course you can see the camera is angled correctly towards the middle of the painting. We're going to be using this one because it's got a lot of dark values to it and it's often difficult to get that accurately in a photograph. You get all sorts of weird glares with the blacks, but really you want to have the blacks in your painting be really truly vividly black. And this is, what, this is how we're going to be able to do that. Now I'll show you here what I'm doing. Now that the camera is set up and pointed towards the painting and you can see it's super overexposed There's a lot of glare happening from the one light Of course, you would never ever take a picture of a painting like this But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our polarizing filter and place it over the light now What that does is you'll see as I turn around the filter It kind of adjusts the amount of glare you're seeing that's what a polarizing filter does now usually you would just turn the filter on the camera, but I'm holding one camera right now and the filter in my other hand, so I can't really do that. Uh, but you can turn this and you'll see that at its darkest point, that's where you want to take the picture and you'll get the most accurate uh, picture of your painting without any glare whatsoever. Now, if you have a painting that has a lot of texture and you want to capture all of that texture, you can just turn it slightly, turn your filter slightly so that you get a little bit of that glare and get a little bit of the light hitting the texture and you get more of that in the painting and the final photograph. But this one, this photograph that I'm taking, I want it to be really smooth and I don't really want to get the texture of the surface that I painted on. So that's how you do it. That's how easy it is. I'll show you one more example really quickly because this is a painting that's a work in progress. So because it's a work in progress, there's a lot more weird glares going on. It hasn't had the chance to be varnished yet and it won't be varnished for a while. So if you want to get an accurate picture of your work in progress, you can use this method. So again, we're going to take this polarizing filter and just place it over the light as the camera has the, its polarizing filter as well. And you'll see there that it really goes from looking like this to looking like that. And that is a pretty good picture of a work in progress or a painting at all. The next step though, to get those accurate colors is to take this photograph into Photoshop or another photo editing software and adjust it as you'd like. So that's it. That's the easiest way to get a picture of your painting or of your artwork without any glare. Now, of course, this does alter the colors a little bit. And the best way to get accurate colors is to buy a color checker. They can be a little bit expensive. I think at the lowest, it's about 50 bucks and a good one might cost you about $120. But a color checker allows you to get the most accurate colors and it makes it really easy to just quickly edit the colors in a program like Photoshop. But you don't have to worry about that too much. You can just edit it as you see it in the lighting that it's supposed to be in. Either way, this is a relatively inexpensive, easy method to take accurate photographs of your artwork.